Ooh, that's another jerky motion. What's happening when I jerk it, I'm trying to work smoothly, but the propolis is kind of coming apart quickly with a jerking motion and it's snappy. So the first thing I do before I make a beekeeping video is I look at my weather station and I see which direction the wind is from. And in this case, uh, the wind is from the north, northeast. And that means I want to film on the south side of the building. I have hives on both sides and that gives me the freedom to kind of choose which way I can stay out of the wind. And it makes it easier to work the bees and easier to film as well. Well, the winds are out of the northeast, and what that means is that the wind is bringing in cooler temperatures. Last night it got down, I think, 39 degrees, very chilly, and again tonight, going to be another chilly night. And when that happens, I always get frustrated because I always tell myself I'm never going to make any splits until May the 1st, but people, I got sucked into it. I mean, we had such great warm weather. And as I looked at the forecast, it was going to be warm for a long time, a week and a week and a half after I made those splits uh, a few weeks ago. And now I'm regretting it because some of these, uh, particularly, particularly the box behind me with the $2,000 queen in it, they're not huge, you know. And those colder nights, uh, not, not, it's not so much that they're colder nights, but they can't stay as warm. They have to eat a lot more food. And they're not, they don't have the best of foragers yet to go out and get a bunch of food. So um, I'm definitely going to feed that colony. Um, we, we just have too many days that look rainy, uh, highs in the 50s, lows in the 40s, or even the 30s. So I'm going to put one of my feeding systems on the top of it later. But that's not what this video is about. I'll make another video about that. I'm just telling you, you never know about spring weather <laughs> Oh, in Illinois. Some of you are further down south and you're having great weather. You're not worrying about the cold snaps like we are uh, here in the north. But today, I was able to film, uh, I think yesterday, and I did a little neat video for you um, showing you how if you move too fast or if you kind of have some jerky motion to your inspection, how easy it is for the bees to uh, get riled up. I don't want to use the A word. Everybody knows what the A word is. I never want to call bees the A word aggressive. I never want to use that word. But I use the D word defensive. Bees are defensive, but I don't look at them as aggressive. <laughs> I don't know. And uh, so I'm going to show you a video, some clips of me working a hive. And I want to, I want to particularly focus on when I use smoke, how much smoke I use so that when you're working your bees and all at once they seem to get a little bit agitated at you, a little defensive, then you can uh, kind of look what I'm doing and maybe learn some skills on handling bees barehanded, you know, t-shirt and, and have a good time doing it. Let's take a look. So we're gonna take this super off and inspect some of those lower frames. I don't believe I looked at those lower frames the other day when I was in this hive. So let's take a look. So we'll add a little smoke to the top, not much, just a little bit. I'm going to separate the, the super here from the bottom deep. It's all stuck together with propolis, smoke a little bit. Then I'm going to set it on top of my top cover lid behind me. There's a spider in my handle. That's always a surprise to smash a spider in your handle of your, of your box. Sometimes when you're working bees, when you separate boxes, there's always comb, there's always things that you accidentally break apart or break open. And you can see here, these bees are actually sucking up the juices. You know, everybody likes a milkshake, I guess. And uh, this looks like a drone pupa that's been opened up. Let me see if I can move them off. They're just wanting to clean it up. That's kind of gross. It's kind of barbaric, isn't it? 
I don't know. They they're good at cleaning things up pretty quick. Look at that bee with that bright orange pollen basket. Isn't that cool? They don't like my camera. This camera actually is kind of motorized. It has a hum to it. They're, they're being okay, but I've noticed sometimes they get really, uh, they pick up the noises oftentimes of this little camera. So I have to be careful when I'm working it. All right, let's look at some frames in here. You don't need to be playing with that. Get rid of that. Throw it out of the hive. There's just bees wall to wall. Okay, mostly nectar. I'm parking in my frame hanger. Remember, there's no queen in here, so we can work it without worrying about where the queen is or if we can accidentally hurt the queen. We don't have to worry about that. I'm trying to work the hive slowly cautiously like slow motion very gentle they're starting to add wax to this frame here very nicely they were festooning together holding their legs together measuring out the comb how they're gonna build it as I separated it they kept they kind of kept hanging on to each other's hands now it's kind of a jerky motion there my, my hive tool slipped and so when you don't work in slow motion, you can see bees get flighty. So I took that opportunity to smoke them. Well, basically this is a frame of pollen of different colors, yellow, orange. I'm just seeing if there's a queen cell down here. That's all I'm kind of interested in. So I'm making my way over to the brood nest area. I'm going to look at two or three more frames and make that decision on where to put the frame that has the queen cells on it. Ooh, that's another jerky motion. What's happening when I jerk it, I'm trying to work smoothly, but the propolis is kind of coming apart quickly with a jerking motion, and it's snappy, and the bees are, they're not real defensive, but they're not crazy about it either. I have not been stung yet. Famous last words. Okay, here we have another queen cell right here. It's hard to show you. Two of them, and then there's one here. This frame has several on it. So this hive has a lot of replacement cells and cups already in the work. So this hive will have a queen really soon. So if you wanted to take this frame out and put it somewhere else to raise a queen, you could because we have plenty of frames with these on it. Let's look at one more for prosperity's sake. A little smoke. Let's, let's keep working in slow motion. It's getting a little bit later in the day, and a lot of bees are kind of coming home. So we're going to have to work in slow motion and try not to be loud. Try to gently move these frames around without that propolis snapping. Move your hand slowly across. Gentle. It is stuck. Applying enough pressure just to let it break loose. Very good. Now move slowly as you grab the edges of the frame, slow and steady, wins the race. And the bees prefer you to work that kind of speed. 
They've just drawn this comb out this year. Brand new comb being drawn out at the top of the frames. I, and the same here, brand new comb. Um, I gotta show you what's on this next frame. I said I was gonna do one more. Okay, I'll do one more. I'm gonna do this one. It has queen cells on it. Slowly across, right? You can see if I move fast, bees quickly come up to my hand as I move it quickly. So never move your hands fast. All right, what's on this frame? I don't see any queen cells on that side, but I thought I saw one on this side at the top. And I do. See right here? It's not capped over. They're going in and out of it. So this cell, i got to keep it vertical so that um, it doesn't hurt the developing larva. But you can see, now I'll try to move it into the camera. At the edge of my thumb, this is a replacement when they determined that they lost their queen. Look how that bee is going up in the bottom of it and feeding the larva. That's a queen replacement cell. Not capped over yet. So we don't really need to put that super frame down in here because they are raising a queen to be their, the leader of the hive in that frame right there. So we're going to slowly put everything back together. I'm going to smoke a little bit. All right, good. Need to put a frame back in that's over here. Slow motion. Don't get too uh, caught up in your work and start moving fast. I think some of you make that mistake and you start working your hive really quickly, fast motions and all at once. You got bees that are pretty rowdy. I don't like to do that because I like to work in a t-shirt with no gloves and just a hat and a veil. If I want to work really fast, I have to suit up with all the hot gear on. Okay, there we go. I like what I'm seeing. Very good.